all amigos this is somvet and welcome back to code pipe in today's video we will see how we can use cookies with django so without wasting any time let's go to our editor i'm using visual studio code for my code editor and our project is already set up we have our environment file in dcook we have our main folder which is project folder django cookie we have an application cookie django cookie folder is the base settings file we have our templates we have our database we have a simple view already set up and if we check our web page this is the initial web page that we have used in our setup i am directly jumping to the coding part because i am assuming we already know the basic project setup but still if you want to know how i set up my django project there will be a card for the django project setup video on the top right corner of the screen please have a look at that first of all we should know what are cookies cookies are nothing but a data of strings that is collected by the browser from specific websites so if we inspect this and if we go to application tab here you can see we have cookies used by this site csrf token is a default cookie which is saved by django application so you will find it here now without going any further let me show you what we are going to achieve by the end of this video and this will be the final home page let's inspect our page go to application tab and inside our cookie we can again see that we have csrf token as a default now let's try to log in let's say a at the rate gmail.com any random email and any random password let's submit this as soon as we submit we can see that we have two more cookies that is logged in and username so these are saved as strings cookies are used in different ways by different companies and websites but mostly they are used to check the login status of the user if the user is already logged in in the same browser it will not ask again for login and if we click on this log out this will delete our cookies and it will again ask for login now let's see how we can implement this let's close this so in our views.py we have our home we will need two more functions that will be login and after this we will say log out first of all let's make a template for login so inside our templates file i will create a new file that will say login.html here i will use auto completion to get simple html file which will look something like this i will say cookie login here inside our body we will use bootstrap for that we will need to use bootstrap cdn so let's get it in our browser if we search for bootstrap usually the first link will give you the bootstrap setup and the files if we go to get started here we will get the css and js files so i will copy this link in our html file in our head tag i will paste this now i can use bootstrap to design my page i will create a simple division here inside this division i will get a form from bootstrap only so in our bootstrap let us search for form if we scroll down this is the basic form that bootstrap will give us so let me copy this file inside our division i will paste this here we will have this checkbox which we will not need so i will delete this checkbox now we have our template almost ready let's go to views and make a view for this so i will say return render it will take request and the template file name which is login.html now let's make a url for this in our urls instead of going to home i want it to go to login so i will make this home and i will create a new path for login that will be our home page which will say login and name will be login now let's check our browser if we refresh we should get the log page and here it is let me make it more visible bootstrap classes inside our login.html in the main division i will give a class that is container and justify content in the center if we refresh it now this is more clear at this point whenever we are logging in or basically whenever we are posting this form into our server we are saving some details as cookies so for that in our views.py in login i will say if request dot method is equal to post this should be double equal we need to get username from request dot post dot 
get let me say email then we need to create one response which will be render request and i will say home.html as this is a post method if the credentials are okay we need to print out the home.html and we will provide some context here which will be initialized here and inside this context we will provide some information which we will see in a while let me comment this out for a while now we have our response now comes the main part of setting the cookies we don't need to do any extra setup we can directly say response.set cookie so let me say username and here i will give the value of username that will be stored in this username key along with this i will also set one more cookie that will be login status and here i will say true and finally we will return response let me indent this correctly before we run this let me go to our login.html and in our fields for input let me give a name of email so i can get this in our post request and for the form i will say method is equal to post as we have only set up a post method let me set up a get method also if request dot method is equal to get we will simply render the login page that is this one let me copy this put it here this should work fine there are no errors in the terminal let us check our web page our web page is ready so let me put anything here and any random password and let's try to submit this this should save some cookies here so if i say submit we forgot to include the csrf token in our form so let's do it now in our login.html below the form let us put csrf token csrf underscore token save this and let's try again any gmail or mail any password let's try to submit this and we can see here our login status and username are saved and we are redirected to the home page at this point we know how to set our cookies now let's see how to get our cookies for that in our home.html i will comment this out and i will put this code let me explain what's going on first of all we will check if we have logged in or let's say login status in request.cookies using request.cookies we can get our cookies so we are checking for login status and username in our request.cookies if we have those two things we will put them into our context and we will render home.html otherwise we will render home.html but without this context now using this context let us change our home.html here below this home let me put a code so this is a division inside this division i am checking if username is present in the context or not and from our views.py we understood that we are sending username context only if it is present in request.cookies so if it is present we can say you are logged in as using the username and we can also say login status is login status if the username is already logged in and we have the cookies we will provide a button for logout otherwise we will say we are not logged in and you need to log in to get to the home page and finally we will create one home button so that we can go to our main page that is login page so let's save this and go to our browser here if i say home we don't have a reverse for logout so let's remove logout for now so for that we will remove this url for logout save this and let's try again let's refresh this and here we can say this is home and you are logged in as the username and we are not getting the login status and the reason is in our views.py we need to say login underscore status and while we are at this we can use two methods to get our cookies which is request.cookies and request.cookies.get we can use both of these methods to get information from our cookies let's save this and try again if we refresh here we are getting the login status as true at this point we know how to set cookies and how to get cookies let me take a moment to make the code more clear in our views.py remember in login we kept our context clear or empty so here i will use this because we are using a single home.html so we need to keep the context constant so here i will say username will be username that we are providing and login status 
will be true let me show you why we are using this context here in the post method i removed context from this render deleted cookies from the cookie tab let me try to log in here so i will say any gmail any password and if i submit cookies are getting stored but it is saying you are not logged in as the home.html is a single html file which is used in different views we need to keep the context similar to all the views so for that purpose i am using this context here and giving the same details as we are giving into other context so again i will put context here and let's reload this and again we are getting the correct details at this point we know how to set our cookies how to get our cookies now let's see how to delete our cookies for that let's make our logout view in our views.py we already have this logout function so here i will create one response directly and here i am going to use some django functions for that let me import something from django.http i will import http response redirect and from django.shortcuts i will import reverse so whenever we are logging out i want to redirect the user to our home page so for that i will say response redirect reverse to login so similar to this response.set cookie i will say response.delete underscore cookie and the key so we have used here username and i will copy this and here i will say login under score status and this should work fine after this i will say return response i will make a url for this so inside our urls.py i will make a new path that will be logout using the logout function and the name will be logout let's use this url in our home.html where we have the logout button so i will say url and use logout let's save this and check our page upon refresh we are not getting any error now if we click on logout you can see that both the cookies are deleted and we are coming back to our home page that is login page with this we can say that we know how to set our cookie how to get our cookie and how to delete our cookie and we can use these cookies in various applications thank you for sticking with me throughout the video if you are still here let me take a minute of you to tell you about something i actually have a course on udemy that is about web development but that is on python framework using django in this course we designed and hosted django e-commerce website from scratch as you can see the course content first of all we designed ui and ux we designed front end using html css we designed back end using django we hosted the website on cpanel and at the last i also tried to explain some mistakes and what could be done better so have a look on this course the link will be available in the description also recently i have monetized my youtube channel so if you are a budding youtuber and programmer wants to show your talent on youtube so you can use this cool tool that is tubebuddy it is officially youtube certified it is backed by many of the famous youtubers it has many cool features like advanced keyword research it can cut your publishing time in half by providing a template for thumbnails it can help you rank higher in search results using seo it can help you track all your views and subscriber count on your mobile and on your social media accounts the link for this is also in the description so please have a look i hope this video was informational and useful to you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you are coming here for the first time do not forget to hit the subscribe button and push the notification bell to not miss out any videos we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somewhere taking your leave adios